I want to talk about one of the first shoes ever made by Nike, the Nike Blazer. They were originally released in 1972, which was the very first year that Nike was even a company. And the Blazer is the first high top basketball shoe ever made by Nike. Check out this vintage poster behind me. This is George Gervin, and his nickname is the Iceman. He was nicknamed the Iceman because of his cool demeanor on the basketball court, and George helped make the Blazer famous, and he also made the finger roll famous. People that watched him play said that he could do the finger roll from as far back as the foul line. Amazing. So back in the 70s and 80s, most Blazers were white with black swooshes, just like the one on the poster here. But the blazers in front of me, the Iceman edition, are 3M metallic silver, and they're very, very rare. There are only 36 pairs of these shoes in the whole world. These shoes were released at the House of Hoops, and they sold out immediately. The House of Hoops is a collaboration between Nike Basketball and Foot Locker. Let's check these out. Notice the beautiful 3M metallic silver upper. Wow, these are incredible with white and black accents. And if you look really closely at the upper of the shoe, you'll see George Gervin's silhouette. It's the same silhouette that's on the poster right here. And I feel like the poster really brings the shoes to life, and the shoes really bring the poster to life. In the museum, these shoes were on display with glass blocks, and also starting lineup action figures of George Gervin doing the finger roll. It was absolutely incredible. So I love these shoes. They are a sportswear edition of the Blazer. These days, the Blazer is a basketball shoe, it's a lifestyle sportswear shoe, and it's also a skateboarding shoe. And I wanna walk you through the transition from the Blazer as a basketball shoe to the Blazer as a skateboarding shoe. Let's check out this pair from 2002. These are known as the Paul Browns, and I think this shoe is very, very underrated. Plain and simple, beautiful brown leather upper with net accents. Net is another word for bone or off-white. If you look at the color of the midsole, swoosh, the heel, the lining, it's an off-white color. Nike calls that net. So when these came out in 2002, Nike started making skateboarding shoes. The first skateboarding dunk is a Danny Supa, and the first high-top skateboarding dunk was the Paul Brown. These are also Paul Brown. You may not know this, but one of the very first Blazer skateboarding shoes is also Paul Brown and Mesa Orange, of course. You'll notice that this blazer has a lot more padding and support than this one does because this is a lifestyle basketball shoe and this is a skateboarding shoe. And the big difference between skateboarding shoes and other shoes is the extra padding to absorb the cushioning, the pounding, the tearing up of your shoes while you're skating in them. So I love these shoes. And I think it's kind of amazing that Paul Brown was the color of the first Dunk SB High, one of the first Blazer SBs, and also the first Trainer SB, the Air Trainer 1 SB. So here we transition from the basketball to the skateboarding in 2002 using this beautiful colorway. I want to move these out of the way, and I'm going to show you a crazy rare Blazer, a skateboarding one in this blue box. Can you guess what they are? I'll give you a hint. There's only 24 pairs in the whole world. Boom. Made for skate, baby. These shoes are inspired by Hobie Skatewear skateboards. Hobie was an old surfing company and they transitioned into skatewear in the 1950s. And this shoe is reminiscent of one of the very first skateboarding shoes. You'll notice that the heel says made for skate. It's in this beautiful blue, yellow, and red upper, which is the color of the old shoes. 24 pairs of these in the whole world. You'll notice that they have a sample tag on there that's a different kind of a tag than these normal tags that are on Nike boxes. And the Made for Skate Blazer came with a very rare Made for Skate book. Check it out. I had these on display in the museum, and guess what? Nike ripped me off. If you go into Nike Santa Monica, you'll see this book on display, except of course they don't have one of the super rare made for skate blazers, they just have some janky Lance Mountain blazer edition. But this book basically takes you through the history of skateboarding. There's that Hobie shoe that we were talking about right there. The book actually has a whole chapter on the Air Jordan 1 being one of the coolest skateboarding shoes of all time because back when the Jordan 1 came out, people were skateboarding in them. Can you believe that? OG Jordan 1s torn up by people skateboarding in them. I wanna to move to another very rare pair of SBs. 
These are Bruins, and they're almost as rare as the made-for-skate shoe. So we said earlier that the Blazer was the first high-top basketball shoe made by Nike. The Bruin was the first low-top basketball shoe made by Nike, and Nike is now making the Bruin into a skateboarding shoe as well. These are known as the Fluff Edition. You can see it says Fluff on the heel right there. Some people say there are only 12 pairs of these in the world. Others say 24. Others say 36. Who knows how many there are, but they're really, really rare. So Fluff is a magazine in Holland, and Nike partnered up with Fluff to make this 600-page book. It's the biggest book of skateboarding history, and it features 117 European Nike skateboarding athletes all over Europe. It's an amazing collaboration. I thought if I have the Made for Skate Blazers and the Made for Skate book, I got to have the Fluff Bruins and the Fluff book. And I'm really happy that I do. I love these shoes. They're all super duper rare. And I'm going to keep collecting them as long as Nike keeps making them.